It's time to talk about the future. We're always looking for ways to make a positive impact. You are listening to A Sustainable Future by Los Amigos. Three liters of gasoline mm -hmm. per 100 kilometers. Wow. So if you have two passengers in the car or three passengers in the car instead of flying, it's kind of the same mm -hmm. emissions. But with electric car, you right. can turn the same, you can, you can operate the car in a very sustainable way if, you, if the uh, energy yes. you use comes from re renewable sources. But right. in Tulum, the Tesla, we charge always with uh, renewable energy because we have so many solar plants here, right? Awesome. And uh, since last year, Tesla, it's possible to cross the country. I couldn't believe it. That's right. why I made a little tour and crossed Mexico from here to Puebla, for example. Mm -hmm. There is no supercharging. Right, okay. And what's the range of the Tesla on one charge, on a single charge? What's uh, the range of the Tesla? That depends how fast you drive, right? You can make 500 kilometers if you okay. drive slow, okay. and you can make, you can kill it in 250 kilometers if you drive crazy, right? Okay. Some freeways are pretty amazing in Mexico, We're just straight and no one is there. Yeah. Does no. the Tesla have a sport mode? It's always sport, right? <laughs> and, and that's an, in 3.2 seconds, that's always, wow. it's a weird name, sport, right? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, for cars, but yeah, it's, I think it's right now the fastest accelerated car in, 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 in Mexico. But yeah, the tour. So mm -hmm. it feels a little bit like a sailing vessel because right. you move like a sailing ship. You can go if you have charging station all over the country. You can right. go wherever. Yes. It doesn't doesn't cost you it doesn't cost energy, but it's right. you have it everywhere. So and then we flew a lot to make presentation for Los Amigos. Right. And we we are, we we are sustainable. We promote sustainable development. Sure. But then you fly everywhere. You fly to Mexico. You fly to Monterrey and say, hey, we should combine all this these meetings we have yes and drive the whole way sure because our biggest our mainly we we promote our projects to mexicans because i think if mexicans buy in their own country that's kind of a sustainable thing for the economy exactly and uh so we said if you can combine all these events we have mm -hmm. then we can just drive so instead yeah. of putting our team in the plane we just put it on the electric car mm -hmm. and you drive from a to b yeah. uh, and now all the country and the idea on this tour is actually to drive all the way until los angeles or to Fremont, wow. which is the birthplace of the Tesla, Okay. and just give it back. No, <laughs> you don't give it back, right. but we drive all the way to Los Angeles because we have to be in China. Right. There we have to fly, sadly, because yes. we have another expo in, in China. Okay. And we're also going to visit on our uh, electric passenger drone. Wow. It's kind of a flying Tesla. e -Hong. Yeah, yes. the e -Hong drone is going to be about ready in this time. Yeah. So we drive with the Tesla, zero emission all the way right. to uh, to Los Angeles, and then we fly. Okay. Uh, have the tr have the expo in Shanghai. Yes, the biggest real estate expo in, in China in Asia. Mm. And uh, then we fly back, and then we have to drive the Tesla back. And then we said, okay, that's already cool that we mainly drive all the way. What else can we do mm -hmm. regarding to our mission to make a positive impact? Right. And uh, then we thought it would be cool if, because we have so much technology right now in our company. Sure. We have the most advanced aeolic system in the world. Yes. Wind turbines, ver right. vertical axed wind turbine. Yeah. It doesn't make any sound. You can integrate it in the condominium. It's like a world sensation. Yes. And people don't know about it because it's very specialized technology. Right. So what we have to do is we have to tell them, not only the people who are in our market, also mm. the next generation. Because sure. they, the next generation, like people in university and school, they're demonstrating all the world because they're worried about the future. Right. And they want answers and they want political people to move. And I think companies can do a lot. And so we know a lot of technology mm -hmm. you can use to really create a better future, right? Yeah. And I think for me personally, that's also something that I really appreciate working with Los Amigos because I'm working in an environment where I'm actually seeing these things being implemented day to day. So people who actually want to make a change, sometimes they don't know where they're going to start, right? And I'm glad that I'm working in a place where I'm actually seeing this technology being implemented. I'm seeing the cars, I'm seeing that you guys are working with Tesla to put in the EV charging station, uh -huh. the transparent uh, solar panels, the electric drone, and I'm sure that there's more surprises to come down the line. That is exactly what he said, it's correct. The most important thing is you have to do something. You need to be an example, right? If you talk about things you have never done, then, sure. no one, then, you, then you're not really uh, convincing, right? 100%. But we have so much stuff. What you said is all correct. And the biggest thing we do is actually what you don't see. That's why we have to talk so much about it, the treatment T plan. Tell us a little bit about like some of the things behind the work, some of the things that people don't see. Like the water treatment plan, I know a lot of people don't really understand the concept, but that's also very, very much tied into the preservation of Tulum. Right. 
Yeah, exactly, because that's why we're doing the presentation, because you have to, pr some technology is hidden in the ground, because here in Tulum, mm -hmm. we are both the biggest underground rivers in the world. Right? right. That makes it so fascinating. Sometimes it's an open crack and you can jump in and they call it here Sonata and it's some, some, yeah. something really unique because there's nowhere else in the world you can see this stuff. Right. And uh, Tulum grows, but the infrastructure doesn't grow. And that happens in a lot of places in America and probably all around the world that the area grow, but not with the right infrastructure. There's a lot of places in Asia and Africa, they have the same problem. They have, they, they have people living there, yes. but without any infrastructure. So what they're doing is they contaminate the whole area. Yes. And uh, here we have the chance that people come and want to make vacation. So mm -hmm. they're paying pretty much big money to stay here. Yes. We said, so there is money. There is money who comes and people want to use this place. So let's create sustainable places, right? And then we started to make these treatment plans to implement in projects yes. where we have no infrastructure. So we, we do the infrastructure, right? Mm -hmm. we, we invested now in our, our combined in our last three projects, we invested more than $1 million just wow. in treatment plans. Wow. So something you don't see, but on our, our conference, yeah. we're showing this technology, we show how important it is, mm -hmm. and that with this way, you can create in water environment, at least a, a, even a positive impact in the environment. Because sure. the water who leaves our, who gets out of our condominium is actually cleaner than the water we take out, right? Then, then, we, then we take in, that's interesting. And then, then we keep going with all the other technologies. Eh? Okay, so Nico, at the end of the tour, what is it that you want to accomplish? Yeah, we want to, this time we have the meta, we want to talk, we talk all the time usually to real estate people. Because right. yeah, we live from real estate, so people buy apartments and we explain pretty technical all the stuff we implemented to make it more sustainable. But we want to inspire now the next generation. People are going to university and we, we there is in, in Cancun, we've just been on university, they have uh, sustainable engineering. So there is so mm -hmm. much, uh, human capital in this country who are passionate about technologies who make the change they're talking about how can we get the co2 mm -hmm. out of the air right so we're thinking always how can we not contaminate and they're thinking already the next step so we i personally feel almost <laughs> more aligned with students yes. right young people who, who want who want to, who of course they want a positive future or a different sure. future sure because they know if 10 billion people everyone drives a car and eats Beef, beef like the Americans before or something and yeah. it doesn't work right right so we need to change some things yeah? sure. uh, and we have a lot of answers we're doing a lot of stuff already okay. which a lot of, with, 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 with more people doing this right. it creates really a big impact so we just have to create conscience that mm -hmm. means we have to talk about it right so we said instead of real estate we're going in all the cities we visit mm -hmm. and try to speak in the universities right to um, to make people understand how exciting technologies exist yes and what you can do today already right towards a more sustainable future awesome and we did some tests here in, in Quintana Roo okay and it was amazing right? it's quite amazing. well received right yeah and I, I know Nico a lot of people who listen to the podcast and they see you a lot on the Instagram and they know quite a bit about Los Amigos Saloon but give us a little bit about your personal vision for the world what is it what is your role that you want to play your legacy that you want to leave behind for people to come because you're doing a lot and we really appreciate what you're doing but just give us a little bit of an idea of what is your personal role what are your visions your goals that you want to achieve, achieve personally i mean everyone should there is this thing you have to think globally and act locally right, right. so i came from germany and i was fascinated as we had the transition to um, solar technology right so okay as the transition started as the government actually started a law that every private person mm -hmm. can connect to the local grid okay. and produce energy. So your meter right. goes in the other direction. And so in Germany you get even paid for it. Okay. And I was fascinated by it. Wow, I can be a utility company. Yes. And I need to go to, to to register my company and say, Yeah, I produce electricity. Wow. Like like the big like like, like a big know, company. company. I said, wow, yeah. I'm an electricity producer, mm -hmm. and it was fascinating because no one needs actually to work with. You put you put the systems in place, mm -hmm. and uh, the sun shines almost every day, even in Germany with the low light, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, you can create renewable energy beautifully integrated in the in the network. And I was fascinated and wanted to do more with this. Then I came to Mexico, fall in love with Mexico, life changed completely. I said, okay, whoops, now I'm living in Mexico. But their potential is even much bigger here because right. there's way more sun. Yes. Way more people living here. Yes. And they have perfect environment because you have more sun, more wind, more people, more place, more yes. growing. Right. And I said, yeah, we don't feel happiness as human being if we wow. don't do something for the whole sum. Right. So you always should ask yourself, whatever you do, how can I contribute for the, for, the, for the community, right? Right. And if you do something for the environment, it automatically is for the community because we're all living in the same space, more or less. We are yeah. breathing the same air, we're swimming yes. in the same ocean. 
and uh, so then as I saw development here and we become we, we, we started with the idea to do more to start to be a developer because yes. I haven't been a developer before okay um, but if you if you want to change something you have to do it doesn't matter what right yeah so uh, a lot of people criticize here development and say, don't criticize development develop by yourself yes and then comes usually a lot of uh, yeah I'm not a developer yeah we neither try but but we had some ideas where we think we could take we, we could make a different right if it works great if it doesn't work it doesn't matter but at least we tried something good and you feel good about it gotcha. but then it be made a big impact in the market in the yes. environment yes. The community and now yeah. we're glad to have you working with us yes and I'm, it's <laughs> been a pleasure working and Nico you recently received an award for uh, ESR Impresa Socialmente Responsable a socially responsible company what does that mean to you yeah it's a nice nice uh, acknowledgement I think so. y yes for our team for our company because yeah I'm not alone here we're almost 500 people with all the operation and people on the construction side right but uh, we we above a lot of standards so mm -hmm. there's a lot of trammels and things you can do we f for example in the, this condominium we are both lead standard okay but we never integrate the lead um, lead uh, testing because it's you have to pay a lot you have to just sure. from from the beginning you have to have uh, auditors Yes. in the process so and this went everything so fast but in the future we're planning to have actually the first lead certificated uh, project in Tulum wow. and uh, what you mentioned um, Empresa like responsibly company we were always feel a responsible company right as we saw this we said hey yeah. we probably apply right <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> so we just needed to fill out all the paperwork yeah. and I, I mean the people who work for us this mm -hmm. is everything what just Los Amigos are all about sure that's what we call the company Los Amigos because from the beginning it were more than one person and we want to make sure that everyone understands it's all about teamwork here so yes the community because we believe deeply that alone you can't change much but as a group you can be yeah. really strong and can make really difference right and that's why we call the company Los Amigos and we try to treat everyone here as a friend yes and if it gets acknowledged yes at a price like this yes, yeah it's, it's cool I yeah think one of the first companies in Tulum receiving it yeah. yeah that's amazing I mean even though it's an uh, official acknowledgement you guys have been doing that all along anyway exactly. So right. since the company grows, we have to be more inst institutionalized. Yes. And this helps that people from outside can identify quickly. This is a company who actually cares right. about a lot of things, not only about the environment, about the client, no, sure. also about their own people. Right? So Awesome. Nico, thanks. Last question. Where do you see Los Amigos in 10 years time? At the moon. On the you moon. You know it already. <laughs> we are I know it. The, the listeners maybe don't know it, but... That's a pretty cool project. We're working on sustainable projects here in Toulon. We're not self-sustainable, mm -hmm. so but uh, yeah, we're working on all these technologies. But the moon needs, needs to be a project which is self-sustainable. If you think right now this sounds completely crazy, mm -hmm. visit our website or or come to one of our conference. If you're right. in Mexico or on the way to Los Angeles between Texas and Los Angeles, we probably okay. close okay. to your area very soon. Okay. And you know, Houston is very important for the uh, moon launch, right? From the uh, famous uh, NASA launches that are going from Houston. So that would be a, a pretty cool point to, to launch the Los Amigos Lunar Project. So guys, thanks a lot, Nico. It's been a pleasure. Thanks. Stick around for more on the uh, sustainable road trip. Thanks for doing this and see you on the next podcast. All right. Ciao. Ciao. It's time to talk about the future. We're always looking for ways to make a positive impact. You are listening to A Sustainable Future by Los Amigos.